Dane, uh, do you see that as a point, Dane, uh, earned or two points lost? It was definitely a point earned. I think the lads put a shift in. Uh, they worked hard and uh, they competed, and uh, that's the minimum we can ask for. But uh, we didn't really create too much, if I'm entirely honest. No, it, it, there wasn't great service to the strikers, was it? No, me? no, it was in difficult, condi difficult conditions. Obviously, we, we're not blessed with a, a big target man, somebody who's, who's going to go up there and can compete for everything up in the air. So, obviously, we have to look at, uh, look at different ways of trying to break teams down. And uh, we knew how to operate, the pat the middle of the park, and uh, obviously, you know, didn't really just give us any passing lines to break through. When did Callum Preston know he was playing? We knew, obviously, since Sunday night uh, with the Dibsy situation, and obviously, um, had a chat with Callum yesterday and uh, got yourself ready. And, I think uh, I think I think he was magnificent for Monty Tyres. He uh, did a bit that he had to do. He pulled one great save off. He made one crucial save, didn't he, in that second half? Yeah, obviously there's that one check. There's I think there was only probably about two minutes in the game that was any like a goal goal of action really. He hit the crossbar and obviously then it's still part of that phase of play. But obviously then he uh, he done what he came in to do and that was he, he saved it. Over 500 minutes without conceding a goal now, Dean. Um, how do you look on that? That's positive. Obviously, we feel like you know the keeping a clean sheet always gives you a chance. Obviously, we look organised, and uh, as I said, uh, we said before the game, can we keep a clean sheet. But obviously, we didn't create enough tonight to come and um, force a win and get all three points. So, uh, guys, lead now on Saturday. You're looking for just a bit more sharpness in front of the goal because it's it's two blanks you've drawn the last two games. Yeah, obviously, it's disappointing. Obviously, we've uh, we've kept two clean sheets. That's that's what we want to keep clean sheets. But obviously, we've not uh, picked up maximum points. Obviously, at weekend we'll we'll look at rectifying that and get all the more game three points. But while you're on this unbeaten run, there's no need to, to panic too much, is there? No, I wouldn't say you need to panic regarding anything, obviously. Um, you look at Saturday's game, we were the more capable team. We had a better chance on Saturday, we didn't take them. Obviously, on another day, um, Manny's had two headers. And, uh, one hit the crossbar, and one uh, he should have hit the target with, but he, he, he just he went over. But obviously, tonight, we, uh, we didn't create enough. And the lack of a big target man, does that mean you have to almost earn and create your goals more so than you would be able to if you'd had a, a target man? Yeah, definitely, as you said, uh, he, he give us the the, uh, we ain't got the opportunity of just launching the box and you know that somebody's going to go and win the headers. So obviously, we have to work different ways. And uh, tonight, I thought we, when we got in the right areas, a bit like at the weekend, we uh, crossed cross landed on top of the net and uh, on, the, on the wrong side of the goals. And uh, obviously, we got, we got behind the back of him and he just got pulled back, not, not enough back to Chris Elwood. But you're still right up there, aren't you? Even the early stage, I think a few points covers 14 clubs in this division. Is it going to be like this this season, do you think? Yeah, I think I don't think come all 14 clubs will be tied into it that much. I think no, it, it will be tight, but I don't think it'll be 14 teams in it. Uh, I, I imagine there'll be, there'll be about 8 to 10 teams, I'd have first say, being, being in there competing at the end of the season. Are you going to be one of them? That, that's the plan. <laughs> Cheers. Any, any movement? Dean, on bringing players in, there's talking, uh, John Mills is talking in the programme that's about still trying to bring somebody in. Yeah, we're still looking. Obviously, the, there's options there. Obviously, we were out last night taking games in, and obviously, so we, we, we're we looking and always looking. Obviously, we um, Chrissy Oldboy's back now. Obviously, uh, it's almost like a new signing. Obviously, Jack McCreef's um, got, got minutes tonight. Obviously, Marcus Keller, Marcus Keller is back in contention for the weekend. So, obviously, it's uh, we've got by tonight. Obviously, we lost Geno for um, suspension, and obviously, uh, Hursty picked up an injury at the weekend. So, obviously, we're a little bit Fred Bear tonight, but uh, as I said, we've got one two back available. You got, uh, as you say, you got another home game on Saturday against a team against again who struggled so far this season. Do you think um, it's important for the players to to maybe try and get the result on Saturday? It's d f the fans are getting a bit frustrated as well, obviously, and that makes it more difficult for the players. Yeah, obviously, you can understand the frustration. You want to win football matches, and obviously, um, but you know, always going to win. It's, it's ultimately that's the case. And if, if you're not, we're not going to win. Especially at home, we, we try not to concede in any game. Try not to concede, and uh, as I said last night, I thought they, they worked hard. But obviously, they just we just lacked a bit of quality.